So I don't know why it's taken me so long to talk about Johnny DeRocher on my Border Fiddle blog, but here it goes. Johnny DeRocher is from Sarnia, Ontario. Now, Sarnia, Ontario is a sister city of Port Huron, Michigan. They're separated only by a river, granted a large river, but throughout their history they've had a big musical interchange. Uh, people still from Port Huron go to Sarnia to play music. Johnny DeRocher went to Port Huron to play music back when they were doing jamborees in, in Port Huron. Johnny DeRocher was born near Sarnia. He uh, was walking down the road as a kid, saw a broken fiddle in a trash can out in front of someone's house, went up, knocked on the door, asked if he could have it. They said, yeah, he fixed it up, learned to play the fiddle. He uh, helped take care of many of his siblings. His, his father wasn't in the picture. Um, he was kind of from a bootlegging community there, I believe north of uh, Sarnia. And he, he eventually got married, lived in Sarnia, worked at a factory there. Now, the thing about Johnny DeRocher, besides the fact that he was a great fiddler, was that he was an incredible composer of fiddle tunes. He composed so many fiddle tunes, he would work in the factory uh, during the day, and then write the fiddle tunes in his head as he worked, come home and write them down on his kitchen table. He met Don Messer after a tornado in Sarnia, as far as my memory of the story goes. Don Messer heard his tunes, started playing Johnny DeRocher's tunes on the radio. So Don Messer broadcast some of Johnny DeRocher's tunes across Canada and the U.S. And Johnny DeRocher was very often considered, he's kind of shy, kind of a shy guy. Um, and he didn't particularly go for the limelight. But a great fiddler. And... Um, he, he sold a tune to Graham Townsend, another famous Canadian fiddler. Uh, Graham asked him to sell him one of his tunes, and Johnny DeRocher did, and his friends came unto him and said, why'd you do that, Johnny? And Johnny said something to the effect of, uh, well, I, I, need, I could use the money, uh, but I can write another tune tomorrow. Uh, that's the kind of composer he was of fiddle tunes, great fiddle tunes. Um, he, he passed away in the 80s and uh, is one of the people I think of when I think of border fiddlers, as well as uh, like Rennie Cody, who is uh, hugely popular in Canada and in Michigan. And, but Johnny DeRocher was one of these people who not only did he live right on the border, play on both sides of the border, but his music crossed borders on the radio with Don Messer. I'm going to play you uh, Blind River Breakdown. I got these stories, some of these stories that I just told you from interviewing one of his old friends out in Sarnia um, years ago, so I'm, I may have the facts a little shaky but that's the general outline of his his music and uh, this is Blind River Breakdown actually get from the playing of Pierre Schreier and uh, it goes like this.